Okay, so today we're gonna go over how to do dumbbell hammer curls. Now there's different variations to this. You can do them together or one at a time. I personally like one at a time because you can really focus on it. Now as opposed to a regular curl, you're not gonna rotate your wrist up to the sky. Now notice in a regular curl, when you rotate, you're really peeking out your bicep. So you're working a lot of the interior of the bicep. With a hammer curl, you're focusing more on the width of your bicep and your forearm, okay? So that's the primary focus of the hammer curl. Now to do these, you'll start just like your regular dumbbell curls. Hands at your side, nice base, shoulder width apart with your feet, loose knees, not locked out, elbows, not locked out, nice soft elbow. Now as you come up, you can come in different directions. You can come straight up, or you can come across your body. I love to come across the body just because you feel it a little more in that bicep. But to do this, it's very controlled movement. Squeeze, come back down. Come up, very controlled movement. Squeeze, it's really important to get that squeeze and flex everything you got in there. Come back down, controlled. Don't be throwing the weights around because it won't do anything for you. Breathing is very important during this exercise. As you come up, you're gonna breathe out. Squeeze, release, breathe in. Come up, breathe out, squeeze, breathe in. Bad habits always happen with this exercise. You see guys throwing them up, elbows not locked in place. Keep your elbow right locked by your side. Come up, squeeze, come back down. You'll really feel it in your forearm and in the middle of your bicep if you're doing it right. Come up and down. Come up and down. That's your dumbbell hammer girl.